Hey everybody, Mike Fisk here with another word of daily encouragement for you from God's Word. This morning's verse comes from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, which says, But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are a royal, uh, you are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. You know, when you have a precious possession, you do whatever you can to protect it, don't you? You, you know, if you have a brand new car, you might park at the other end of the parking lot away from everybody else. You don't get the old door ding, dings in it. Or uh, if you have a new boat, you might uh, make sure it's water, car, or whatever. Uh, you might make sure that's always washed, and clean, and shiny. Um, we always like to have those things that are precious to us kept in good shape. You know, it's amazing to me that the God of the universe, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, looks at us at his, as his special possession. He calls us a royal priesthood. He calls us uh, something that's important to him, his very own possession. You know, the beauty of it is, uh, because of sin, we lose that possession, that luster, but Jesus comes along and gives us forgiveness and helps to restore that luster, to restore that relationship with God. And then we can show that to other people, and that's why Jesus came, to show us the light. Uh, we live in a world of darkness. You know, people are struggling with racial inequity. Uh, people are struggling with mental and physical abuse. Uh, people are struggling with... Um, being uh, mistreated in a variety of ways and yet God shows his love to them uh, through Jesus and he gives us the privilege the responsibility uh, the opportunity to show that light to other people to lead them from the darkness that they're in uh, to, to, to the light you know people that are in chemical dependency that see no hope to be able to get out have found freedom in Jesus so let me encourage you with two things today first of all remember who you are in God you're a special possession and he'll do whatever he can to protect you. The second thing is, help, let me remind you to, to help others to find the light that they can find in Jesus. Hey, thanks for stopping in today. Let's have a word of prayer together. Father God, I thank you for Jesus. I pray for my brothers and sisters, my fellow uh, humans uh, that are struggling in darkness right now, whether it be chemical dependency, whether it be racial inequity, whether it be injustices, whether it be uh, all the things that people are struggling with in darkness. That you just help them to find Jesus. Help us to show them the light of grace, of forgiveness, of peace that only you can give us. And then, Father God, I just pray for those men and women that give their lives every day uh, to protect us, our law enforcement and fire personnel, our um, service people, our medical professionals, that you would just encourage them today as they risk their lives to protect us. And then I pray that you would just help us to live in the light that you give us. I pray these things in your name. Amen. Hey, thanks for stopping in today. I hope that you have a great day. We'll talk to you next time.